Hey everyone, hope y'all are doing great today and welcome back. So I'm going to share with you a loaded sewing machine that I have created for, <clears throat> excuse me, for a uh, swap that I'm in. But let me show you a couple of the goodies and I just made really quick bag toppers. Um, this is a, a die that I have in my stash and um, backed by some, well I have some tool and some um gauze uh, in the back and then really pretty rosette with a with a uh, button a flower and a little bow the so it's a sewing machine theme that's why i went ahead and used the button on that and then i just sent my partner some flowers and uh and these little bags came from um daiso says you make me happy and they're cherry blossom bags, and there's the back. So, and then this bag, I just put assorted blings in there. Um, I put quite a bit so that they would have enough to, you know, complete a project with. And this one in the back is like a really wide ribbon type flat back. And um, that one I got from Allie. This one, I believe I had gotten this one at Hobby Lobby as well as this peachy one. Use the same bag, toppers are the same. And then we were um, to make two, um, so they're two and a half inches uh, round. And um, following the theme, it says, uh, so what's new? And then I put, I die cut a little dress and I put a little bit of uh, trim under there. And then a couple of hearts. I put a little belt in the center with a heart, with that little um, diamond-like bling on there. The top, I uh, cut it out again in glitter paper and I put that right there. And then this hanger is actually one, two, three, Four. I have a little die cut that's a hanger and it's I cut it out four times and I just stacked them and glued them and then the little dress is um, you know sandwiched in between a couple of the hangers so that it'll look like it was hanging and then I just colored the top gold and then right here I just put that little spool with some ribbon a crocheted flower with a button and that was my first one my second one, I put some little uh, lace on there or some trim sewing machine that I um, downloaded some clip art and I um, put it on there. And this one says mini machine, some buttons again, and um, coin, artist trading card, ATC, artist trading coin, okay. And then again, the, the top is the same. Sorry guys, that bugs me when I can't remember. And then we were supposed to make a tag and here's my tag. I don't remember the exact size on the tag, but this is larger than it needed to be. And um, again, I did some clip art from the internet, cut that out. The little sewing machine here. Again, another little, um, you know, carton, the spool with, um, I put some thread in there so it'll match, you know, and uh, some pom-poms, buttons, and there, there's my tag. And I did uh, layer it two, three times so that it would be nice and sturdy, and it's a really sturdy tag, and it's got my hanging element there. Now, my sewing machine is right here, and so this is my sewing machine. It is, you know... It's a file that we were uh, required to use for the swap. And um, this one says, French, friendships are sewn one stitch at a time. And uh, yeah, so I just cut that and it's um, got some dimension on there. Put a cluster of flowers right here. And this pin has been in my stash for such a long time. I don't remember where I got it, but it says stay gold. And I did layer it a couple of times. I just dressed the edges. I put gold around the bottom map piece. And uh, this is another piece that came 
you know in the um in the die cut in the uh, set so i just popped it up on some foam and then again you know it has got a cluster of flowers it's got a crochet flower at the bottom it's a tiny one right here you know as filler some other flowers i'm gonna put some more pom pumps in there a purple button to you know color it in these are the little dials and then on the top i made a tiny little pin cushion there you go i cut down some pins and stuck them in there and they're in there uh, i glued them down so um, they wouldn't come out and then the butterfly another little button another uh, little pattern pair of scissors and then this is an actual spool of thread that i thought would um would look good up there and it's in yellow the little butterfly this is just a piece of the um <sighs> this stuff i forgot i'm tired guys but anyway so um yeah that's the front and then in the middle i just put a couple of buttons and a little flower there and then on the back, the back is plain. It's just got my ticket on there. There you go. And then it does have two, two, two drawer boxes, okay? And they open from the back. Well, you can open them from the front, but I put the little uh, pull tab, or you know, the little pull holes on the back. And in the first one, um, I put some, bling in there for my partner and i put a package of bags and these again come from um daiso and uh, those are so cute clear plastic bags and i just thought they were so cute when i saw them so i'm sending her that one and then i'm sending her some flowers so let me put that back in there and then And then on the bottom one, bottom drawer, just put in some buttons. I put in some little, you know, little container of buttons. I put some more of these little, um, you know, thread cards or I don't know what you call them. And then I put some more little die cuts that I had from, uh, that I didn't use in the, in the project. And then I made some flowers with a new punch that I got. Um, so, put some flowers in there for her. And then I put a, um, a purple pin that I had gotten from my last vacation. With the big bling on the top. Yeah, so hopefully she'll like that. And that is my project share for the day, guys. I hope you like it. Um, I don't remember the name of the company that sold the, um, the pattern, you know, the, the download that we used for this. If I can remember, I'll put it in the description box, but I'm kind of tired, so I I'm, don't, don't hold me to it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we will talk to you guys later. Y'all have a great day.